London News, Friday, December 3rd, 2004. I'm Gary Tetsuo. And I'm Michelle Wan. Good evening. Tonight we bring you news, weather, sports, and more. In business news today, a landmark trade has been finalized between Aspen Tech and Honeywell. In a surprise announcement, Aspen CEO, who remains anonymous at this time, announced an historic deal between Honeywell Process Solutions and Aspen Technology Limited. Under the deal, Aspen exchanged the entire source code for the Heritage Hypertech line of products. For a lifetime supply of Honeywell fans, Aspen CEO announced this deal today. We believe that this would take us forward and drive our business strategy. This will remove the dark cloud that has been hanging over our company. I'm ready to begin competing with Honeywell and winning. Honeywell's president of Process Solutions, Jack Bollock, had this to say. This will significantly enhance our position in the process solution businesses. We have received word that Honeywell is experiencing some technical difficulties in setting up the HISIS source code on their machines. But now, with several extremely talented hypertechnians joining their staff, they are expected to release their new product much sooner than their original generated 20-year timeline. Hey guys, I got this really weird error in my sis. Huh? I don't know. What is this? Uh, oh, what? I got it too. Well, you got it too? How'd that happen? Oh my god, I got it too. What's going on? What? I thought this was supposed to work. Oh, oh my god. Damn you! Aspen Tech is developing a new strategy to move the company forward. Here's Barry, my Australian counterpart with more. We're here at the Kootenai Conference Room at Aspen Tech in Calgary, where the big wigs of the development team are meeting to discuss where the Aspen Tech products are going next after the Honeywell incident. As you can see, there are lots of people gathered around trying to find out where the chemical engineering software giant is going to go next. I'm going to try and get a closer look. Come on. Sorry, you can't go in there. I'm going in. Ah! You heard Bruno. No admittance. Ah. Can I come in? As you can see, security is really tight. Back to you in the newsroom. I can't get anything else here. Thank you, Barry. It appears that's all we can give you at this time. This is just in. It appears that we have a live feed into the conference room. But we're taking you there now. Let's get this meeting started. Oh, is it just me? Is it really hot in here? Can okay, one of you guys turn on fans and stuff? Yes, sir. I can do that. I'll turn them off for you. Oh, this one won't turn on. Well, whatever. Just get it out of here. Call facilities and have them bring up the replacement. I'm starting this meeting now. Alright, this Honeywell thing has hit us where it hurts the most. Right here. We need a new product to take up the slack and we need it fast. Any suggestions? Come on, people. Anything. Yes. Well, I have an idea. We could make software that observes petroleum levels in underground wells. We could call it Aspen Petroleum Observation Software. If that's okay with you, sir. Well. Aspen POS. I like it. Excellent work. Now to get down to the details of this work.
Wow, that was fast. I didn't expect you guys for another five hours. Yeah, about that fan. Well, it looks like we could fix it, but uh, it's not mandatory and it would require some effort, so I'm not going to do it. Well, I'll just get out of here then. It reminds me of way too much of fast water. It appears that's all we can get for now. We'll bring you updates as they develop. We'd like to thank the anonymous source who provided that live video feed, whoever you are. And now, in entertainment, new number one hit at the box office today, Aspen Space. Let's take a peek at some clips from the movie. Right about now. The Time she is his brother. Check it out that? now. The funk soul brother. Right about now. The funk soul brother. Check it out now. The funk soul brother. So do you have a lot of work to do today? Well, yeah. I don't really care anymore. I mean, we come to work two hours late, zone out of the computer for a couple hours, and then I take a coffee break. Hello. Um, what's happening here? Um, we have sort of a problem here. Um, yeah. You uh, apparently didn't submit your SST type sheet yet. I I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot. Um, yeah. Mm, you see, uh, we all have to submit our new SST time sheet before anything uh, can be approved by management. Uh, did you see the memo about this? Yeah, yeah, I got the memo right here. I, I just forgot. Yeah, if you could, can just go ahead and make sure you uh, do that from now on that would be great uh, and um, I'm go ahead uh, and make sure you get another copy of that memo okay I, I oh yeah I'm looking for that staker I'm going to go ahead and take it <laughs> Well, I'll tell you why. Um, uh, because engineers are not good at dealing with customers. Uh, so, so what would you say you do here? Well, look, I already told you. I deal with the freaking customers. So the engineers don't have to. I have people skills. I'm good with dealing with people. Can't you understand that? What the heck is wrong with you people? <laughs> Basically, take their paychecks from Houston and hand them to employees in Calgary. Right about now, the funk soul brother, check it out. Now.